Hi guys, I am here to do my 39 week update. I turned 39 weeks today. I will, I might as well call it my 38 and 39 week update because I didn't um, do it last week. But yeah, I have a lot to tell you guys and I decided I might as well do this video today because I don't know when I'm going to labor. So yeah, starting from last week for 38 weeks. Um, after that checkup last week, Tuesday, when I turned 38 weeks, I learned that I was two centimeters dilated and 80% um, effaced. And his head was like really, really low, they said. And um, we were praying and hoping that he stayed in there because we had a wedding to go to this past Saturday. So, you know, like last week, Tuesday, probably was like the 28th or something, whatever day that was. And we had a wedding to go to on the 4th in Miami so yes I did travel seven hours to Miami seven hours back but yeah it, it went good because of course I'm back home and this is not my Miami room or whatever anyway so um for 38 weeks after I found out that I was two centimeter dilated and after she checked me it wasn't my regular daughter my doctor wasn't there or whatever the case may be but um, I had to switch appointments to see another doctor because I had a final the next day at the time my doctor needed to see me on that Wednesday. So I wouldn't have seen another doctor. We got six doctors in rotation. But anyway, um, after she checked me, I started getting a bunch of Braxton Hicks contractions. Like a lot of them, a lot of them, a lot of them. And by last week, Thursday, I started to lose my mucus plug. So, boom, yay, there goes the big one. Started losing mucus plug, so a little bit came out on that Thursday, like really, really little. Friday, no, Wednesday night, I'm sorry, Wednesday night, a little bit started to come out. And throughout that whole night, it started to be like bigger and bigger and bigger. So then clumps started coming out. That may sound nasty, but at least I'm not showing you guys it, even though I did take a picture of it. Gross. But all it is is snot. It just looks like snot, like if you're sick and you cough up cold or you blow out your nose really, really hard. It's really like thick boogers or thick snot or something like that. So, um, that started coming out. And we got on the road Thursday, 4 a.m. Um, I was doing good. I was getting some contractions and my mucus plugs were still coming out, but we still made it to Miami. Um, I went to a hospital in Miami to check on Friday before the wedding on Saturday if I had progressed or if anything was going on. They said everything was fine. Everything stayed the same. They could feel my, that my service is thinning out. Okay. Came back home, so now we're here today, Tuesday, which makes my 39 weeks update. And I had I actually had a doctor's appointment today, and um, she checked me, and she said I'm still two centimeters dilated and 80 percent face still or whatever but she said i'm, I'm a probably um more than two like two and a half or something two and a half centimeter dilated and everything like that um she stripped my membranes or something or did a membrane sweep or whatever so that's why i decided to do this video because being that i'm already far along sometimes it don't work for people that hasn't started progressing but because i have started to progress i don't know if i'll start feeling anything tonight or whatever the case may be so I'm trying to get this video out the way before you guys before i be making an update oh he's coming so yeah so um she checked me and she did the sweep i think she did the sweep like twice or whatever and she said it'll probably be some bloody discharge and stuff and if i get contractions go to the doctor blah 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 tmi I am experiencing like a little bit of bloody mucusy discharge now, but I don't think there's nothing to worry about. It's not a lot and everything like that. So I'm just gonna watch that. And that's my 39 weeks. Um symptoms besides Braxton Hicks last week. A lot of them were last weekend. We could say the past weekend. That's about it. I haven't really been feeling anything else. No headaches, no nausea, no vomiting. No, none of that. Um, Actually, one symptom I, I have started getting was retaining water, like, in my feet and legs. Like, if you push on your skin, it's not really swollen. It's like, when you push on your skin, 
and your fingerprints can stay in it you're like retaining water so my fingerprint stays in it for like a little bit of time not that long but yeah but I just try to put my feet up and everything like that so I know it's just me retaining water just a little bit it's not that bad like you can't really tell that my feet are swollen but if you press on it then you can tell because it's retaining like my fingerprint when I push on it or whatever so that's about it for the symptoms um cravings food wise nothing i um, still the same thing I never got an increase for food so I eat when I'm hungry and when he is going crazy or something so yeah everything else is the same so I'm excited and it could be any day and I'm excited and scared because I'm trying to do a natural birth also so it's like I'm excited to see him but not too excited for the pain that I have to go through so hopefully God will be with me and I won't wimp out and I get to the end and there won't be any complications but however he comes to this world it is meant to be that way so yep um other than that it's about to be Mother's Day wouldn't it be exciting if I haven't for Mother's Day that'd be awesome even though I'm still a mom right now anyway but still That'd be awesome. And my mom's birthday is actually Mother's Day, so it's like crazy. But yeah, that's about it. So that's my update. I forgot to give you guys, you guys, belly shot last time for 37 weeks. So I'm going to stand up, give you, show you the 39-week belly. And hopefully this will be my last vlog. I do not want to be making a vlog next week, Tuesday, talking about I'm 40 weeks and I'm trying to find things to do to get him out. So, yeah. Pray with me. Push with me. Hopefully, I have this baby, like, now. Like, in five minutes. No, two minutes. Yeah. So, let me show you guys my tummy. And I'll be out of here. It grew a lot. This from the side. Just a little bullet. See a little bullet? This from the front. So I look. This from the side. The other side. And that is him. That's my tummy. Look at that. What else can I tell you guys? I got a lot of stretch marks. Like, seriously, like I have stretch marks going like this. Like, it's like crazy. Hopefully, I find some good cream to lighten it up. If you've been pregnant before and you, where my skin tone, got darker stretch marks and yours faded, let me know what to go buy because I'm going to live by it until these things fade or at least even out with my skin tone. But hey, everything for a bundle of joy. So that's about it. What else? Um, it's to tell me, you guys. Overall, um, weight. Uh, where am I now? Overall, before this pregnancy end, I can say I averaged a weight gain of three pounds through seven pounds. That's exactly where I stayed. Right now, I'm at a, a four pound increase from my pre-pregnancy weight so I'm only four pounds heavier right now so yeah my weight I was just one of the lucky people people say lucky people or whatever case may be that never reached more than 10 pounds gained or from in my case more than seven pounds gained during the pregnancy he's fine he's healthy he's everything is perfect with him like heart lungs breathing he, he's practicing breathing in the womb I seen an ultrasound and he was sitting there inhaling, exhaling and stuff and stretching around. He's the right weight, everything like that. When he comes out, hopefully everything, you know, is in God's hand and control. But he'll be a healthy baby. But for now, with them looking at him, he's a healthy baby. So I guess it's all genetics or something or genes or whatever the case may be or just everyone's different. But... I didn't have to gain 40 plus pounds or 30, 20, or 10 plus pounds to get through a 39 week pregnancy. So far, I'm going to say 39 week pregnancy. And I guarantee in one week, I don't gain 30 pounds. 
So you guys could be like, see, you gained 40 pounds? Like, no. But, yeah, so easier for me to snap back, I guess. And regardless, I wanted to get lower than my pre-pregnancy weight anyway. So at least my pre-pregnancy weight is right there. Like, him coming out, I would be at my pre-pregnancy weight or probably lower than my pre-pregnancy weight with all this stuff. The placenta, the bag of water, him. So, yeah, I'll just start exercising and get down to my little goal that I want to be at. But, um, that will sum it all up, you guys. So, like, subscribe, comment, ask me anything. Let me know if you guys have a good fading cream. Whatever you use, I don't care how much it costs. Just let me know if this is the one you use and it worked perfectly. Let me know so I can try it because I'm going to need it. And other than that... That's it. Oh, I never show my hospital bag. I may do a hospital bag video tonight or tomorrow. Depending on how bored I am. Because I don't know if I really want to do my hospital bag. Ugh, the struggle. But, love you guys. And I'll see you later. Hopefully not pregnant, though. Bye.